As the negative consequences of Biden's border crisis spills over into just about every state in the union, Virginia voters are becoming increasingly concerned, even citing it as their top election issue. Meanwhile, the shabbly, slip-sipping, elitist shrews over at MSNBC totally losing it on the severity of the situation. They think it's funny to mock those voter concerns. Watch. I mean, I live in Virginia. Immigration was the number one issue. <laughs> yes. I mean, again, these could change in, in Virginia. Well, Virginia does have a border with West Virginia. <laughs> very, very contested but you're area. Build the wall. Like, what? Joining us now, former DHS Deputy Secretary and former Virginia Attorney General Ken Cuccinelli. <laughs> As people were going to the polls yesterday in Southside, Virginia, um, Ken, good to see you. The Bedford County had arrested a man from Ohio, an illegal, uh, for kidnapping a 15-year-old right. girl who also is in the country illegally. Less than two weeks ago, a Venezuelan arrested in adjacent county, Campbell, for sexual assault of a 14-year-old girl. But that's a laugh riot to these ghouls. Well, and, you know, obviously they were talking about Virginia, and I'm a Virginian, but Americans across the country feel the same way that we do in Virginia, and that is that Joe Biden's open borders policy has been very destructive. It's hurting job opportunities for poor Americans. It's raising crime all across the country. And you've pointed out some recent grisly examples. Unfortunately, there are so many of those we can't possibly go through them all. If every news program in America covered them all, you couldn't reach them all. And the, the other side likes to say, well, it, you know, the crime rate is lower among th those folks who come across the border illegally. The fact is, every single one of those crimes, including the sexual assaults you just described, are preventable crimes, 100 percent preventable. All we need to do is defend our own border. Instead, we have a president who insists on kicking that border wide open, really erasing it. And there are terrible consequences in every town in America. Every town is a border town now, yeah. thanks to Joe Biden. You know, Ken, as Americans, I think all of us want Joe Biden to do the right thing. We want him to secure the border. Yeah, it's a good political issue, but I don't care That's about right. po political issues. I care about people's lives and, you know, what's happening to our country with this invasion. Right. And so as I look at uh, those, that discussion on MSNBC, it, it begs the question, and the laughing about the issue that so many of us take very seriously, I have to imagine that the staffers inside the White House that consult and advise Joe Biden, they too are laughing at this issue. <laughs> yeah. Joe Biden is laughing at this issue. No one is taking well, I mean, it seriously, Jen, Jen, and that's Jen the problem. Psaki was, Jen Psaki was in that inner circle. It's, it, she hasn't changed. She's reflecting the same values and positions that she was reflecting in the White House. So I think you're exactly right. She is a perfect Exhibit A for exactly that attitude. It's incredibly destructive. And it is amazing how they look down their nose so overtly at this strong concern, number one concern of Americans, and they're laughing at us. Um, and, you know, whether it's uh, Chablis or whatever they're drinking at these cocktail parties in D.C., in the Acela Corridor, they are so out of touch with ordinary Americans and, by the way, the first principles of this country and any notion that they are stewards while in power of preserving those, which is what's being abused as well by Joe Biden um, in his ignorance of the law, and the consequences are monumental. Yep. They're in this country, they're in every community, and they are in effect around the world. And it's going to be very, very difficult to clean up. But I'm going to remember how transparent they weren't about this, the flights the, the, of 342,000 illegals that our right. own government imported, the, the way they won't let you all in the media into facilities. I remember when I was responsible for those facilities. They'd go berserk if there was a delay in accessing the facilities, with AOC crying her crocodile tears at the fence <laughs> right. and, uh, you know, over complaining about facilities. They're ruining all of that. The lives of the people who are coming up through these human pipelines aren't, are, are, are being uh, risked. We know that about, best we can guess, about 30 percent of the women and children are sexually abused mm. just in transit. Right. And they complain 
about or they, they pretend to be defenders of women and children, and yet they're creating a process by which hundreds of thousands and millions of them statistically are being abused. It's absurd. It's insane. And it's destructive to this country. What they were laughing about, Ken, they're, they're mocking the, you know, the basket of deplorables, the hicks and hayseeds right. and the rednecks and rubes, of which I belong, being from the Commonwealth. Uh, but that basket, because of what they've done and the intentional suffering and hardship that these Democrats have inflicted, that basket's getting a lot bigger. So they can mock and laugh. Well, and passionate. Right. Yeah, well they're, they're getting passionate as well. And pa passion drives votes. And look, people talk the same way on Martha's Vineyard until DeSantis brought two busloads of illegals up there. Yep. It was all easy to laugh about and talk about and be a sanctuary city and all this kind of uh, political virtue signaling BS that they do mm -hmm. until the problem landed on their doorstep. And then they call out for 50 illegals, 125 National Guardsmen yep. uh, to deal with it. I'll tell you what, if I had those kind of ratios on the border when I was a deputy secretary, we'd have kept everybody out. And Thank the truth of the matter is, at points, we reached over 90 percent in keeping yep. people out. It can Ken. be done with the will to do it. No Good doubt. Ken, Thank you, Ken, Good to see you. Thank you.